With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, we are given the question and the question says that a small ball of mass m equals to 1 gram is placed at the bottom of a watch glass of radius 1 meter. Right? It is displaced by height 1 centimeter along the glass surface and released. Calculate the total distance described by it before it comes to rest at the bottom. If mu is equal to 0.1, the coefficient of friction between the ball and the watch glass. Right? So let us say that uh, this is the watch glass. Right, and this was here originally and now it is displaced to this position that is at 1 meter or uh, sorry 1 centimeter right and the radius of this watch glass um, I could draw this so the radius of this watch glass let that be r that is given as 1 meters and the mass of this is 1 gram right and mu the coefficient friction is 0.1 right so what we could say is that there would be a work done during a single motion when it reaches height 1 centimeter, right? So work done does not depend on the path. It only depends on the initial and final position. So the difference is 1 centimeter, that is the change in the potential energy. So that would be equal to mgh, right? So what we can write uh, this to be equal to 1 gram. Right? So it is 0 0.001 into G that is 10 into or we can keep it everything in the SI unit itself. Right? So we will calculate this later on. First of all, we will use the components. Right? So there would be a direct MG here. Right? So when we see this makes an angle theta right so what we can say is that in this position there would be a normal force along this right and this would be obviously equal to mg cos theta right since ang this angle would be theta right and we would have a long horizon uh, along this tangential one right so that would be mg sin theta mg sin theta right so what we could say is that from here the normal force is equal to mg cos theta right since theta is very very small right what we can say is that it would be equal to mg right for small theta cos theta is almost equal to 1 right so the frictional force frictional force would be equal to mu n so that would be equal to mu m g right so the work done right work done due to frictional force would be equal to the displacement mu m g into s let's say the length of the path is s right so using work energy theorem right mgh that is the work done from going from here to there right is equal to the frictional work done so that would be equal to mu uh, mgs right the total work done should be equal to zero the total work done should be equal to 0 so the total work done is mgh minus this would be equal to 0 so this both would be equal mg gets cancelled right so h would be equal to mu s right so how much distance does it travel is equal to h by mu so that is equal to h is 1 centimeter right mu is 0.1 so that would be equal to 10 centimeter Right, so our answer is option C, 10 centimeter. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.